Man United 3, Arsenal 1, a massive win for Manchester United at Old Trafford against an Arsenal team that was supposed to be trying to fight for Premier League titles, weren't they? What, what do you think of that, Andy? Yeah, wings clipped, back to normality. To be fair to Arsenal, they give us a game. They've got, they'll, they'll definitely be in a mix for the top four, but uh, yeah, reality bites and uh, more controversy of this massive weekend of controversy, but I don't give a hoot. We've benefited another... F- Another three points, mm. four on the bounce now, and um, yeah, we're looking good. But look, 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 looked a bit tired, but we're looking good. Mm. It's always good to beat Arsenal, isn't it? Something, something particular about when they've got their their tails up a little bit, and you think it's, it, you don't want Arsenal to. Yeah, do when well Arsenal happen, yeah. Arsenal fans get giddy, well, they, they get giddy and hyped up. I mean, they're well within the rights. Look, they've won five on a spin. They're going to be a problem this season, mm. but we are just grinding out results and doing well and that's what we want and we've just like we all want to just be happy. Yeah. And this is and this is and this is another three points and yeah. they say let's go up. Who knows where we can go this it's season. It's nice being happy in it, like you said. It's nice being happy because yeah. we're, we're sick of being bored. We're, we're yeah. sick of being upset and angry. All you want's a happy club, happy fan base, but we still glazes out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, it's still got to be done. Yeah. But um the momentum in the dressing room now and there's a team spirit there and it's really good. But I really enjoyed it. And Anthony's goal was brilliant. Really brilliant. Marcus Rashford today, very quiet. Really quiet first half. Blowing out and cold again. But he's, he played an assist and mm. scored two as well today. He does that though, doesn't he, Rashford? Where he'll have a game where you go, oh, he didn't do a lot today. And you look down and he's got two goals and an assist. And you think he wasn't involved that much. He wasn't sort of building everything up. But he's there on the end of things time and time again. That's yeah. what we need from Rashford. Yeah, that's what he's got. He, 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 I mean, he's got to do it consistently. I mean, you can't just do it for two weeks, have two weeks off and do it another two weeks. Mm. He wants any... If he harbours any chance of getting in an England squad, he's yeah. got to be doing it now till uh, the start, end of uh, October, start of November. Uh, but it, it's, let's say, I'm, my jo- the jury's still out. I'm not a Rashford fan. It's it, it's in his hands, and we'll see where he goes with it. Yeah. Uh, Anthony debut goal, massive goal as well, wasn't it? Because that was the thing that sort of Arsenal were just building up pressure. They'd had their goal disallowed, which we'll talk about in a minute, and then for him to come out one touch, just first time, put it in the back of the net. Lovely finish, wasn't it? Yeah, guys, nut job. We need we need mm. nut jobs. We've got crazy Argentinian, we've got crazy Brazilian, and we've got crazy Dutchman mm. managing. So I, I like it. Yeah. We need some we need some craziness in this team, and we've got it, and I love it. Yeah. And when he celebrated his goal as well, <laughs> he, 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 he went to the Arsenal fans and he wound them up big time. Showing the badge and everything. Yeah, yeah, you see, yeah. the ref spoke to him and was like, yeah, you can't go near the Arsenal fans, but it's good though, isn't it? So what? Take it. After they, when, the way they celebrated, like they won the league last season, beating us 3-1. You know what I mean? Take your medicine, move on. Yeah, good good performance. How surprised are you at how quickly it's turned around after those two games? Because 4-0 against Brentford, United looked completely all over the place. Then a couple of tweaks here and there, Maguire out, you know, just... But it almost seemed like the effort from everyone changed after those games. Yeah. And now it's four wins in a row. Are you surprised at how good we've yeah, been for the last it's, it's, couple of weeks? It's circumstances off the pitch as well. It's played a part. You think? I mean, I'd say if, if we had if Jim Ran, if Jim Ratcliffe hadn't said something, mm. we we won't we wouldn't have got them to and Ansina and Casimero. We would have had a Rabio and a Artvich. So you, you you can tell that they're, run, they're still running scared. They're yeah. still running scared off the pitch. So you got to keep go, you keep the momentum going. Keep the momentum going. But on the pitch, yeah, we are really looking good, and that's all you want. Ericsson working hard, working hard. I'd say Mali- uh, the final lad. I still can't pronounce Malassia. his name. Malassia. Yeah, sorry, my apologies. Malassia. He still was working hard in the low today as well. Everybody put in an effort. Really good. Even Ronaldo as well. Yeah. A team effort. I mean, I thought the midfield was getting a little bit jarred as well. So when Andy Maguire come on as well, it was like, wow. <laughs> the clock stopped on the scoreboard. Mm. Now there's a there, there's a X Files to explain. Mm. <laughs> Everything felt like time had stopped. Yeah, still time and he he gave away a foul. I'm like, no, why are you bringing him on? But hey, it is what it is. You want to be part of just the part of the squad um competition, so be it. But yeah. I'm not his I'm not his favourite fan I'm being honest yeah. but uh, he played a part he did well that's it move on to the next game he may get a, uh, uh, may get a chance uh, on Thursday against Sociedad and I'm sure he'll play uh, in the cup games as well yeah. the other ones how important is it for United to, to keep winning games like this because 
I think under under Solskjaer, is, or regardless of the manager, we hadn't beat Liverpool in the league since 2018. We beat them uh, two weeks ago. We've, we'd only beaten Arsenal once in the league in the last three years. We've beat them again today. These these sort of records where all of a sudden, instead of it being the worst run since this or the first loss since that, it's actually you know getting rid of a few of these sort of dodgy records that have built up over the last oh, few yeah, years. Oh, yeah, yeah. Worry about yourselves, don't worry about others. Yeah. So everybody's scared, like Graeme Souness, Bully, Simon Jordan, Bully, like Colin Martin, as you said, the other. Absolutely joke. Mm. So like, what are you gonna what are you gonna dig out on a Monday on your radio station on a Monday morning? You're gonna dig oh, all controversy, controversy. Well, hated adored, we will never be ignored. Yeah. What did you make of that the, just quickly on the Arsenal disallowed goal? Odegaard fouling Ericsson. Did you think it was a foul? Of course it was a foul. Yeah. Clear as day. Like the Chelsea keeper yesterday, like he'd been shot. Yeah. As well, the, the, the decisions, it, the technology's there. Yeah. Look, look at the biggest, look, 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 last season, Middlesbrough. I mean, how, how was that given in the FA Cup? Yeah. The, 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 equi the equipment and the, the technology's there. The people behind the camera in the control room are scared. They're running scared. They don't want to make a decision. It's going to cost something big in the future. A team will walk off. A manager, I'm not having this. Come on. Yeah, and I say, even Dave, I felt, I felt sympathy for David Myers, and that's going something for me. You know what I mean? West Ham were robbed. It was a clear... No, they say, even Chelsea were very lucky and very fortunate... Uh, it was it was disallowed, and that, and their goalkeeper is why they won't win the league this season. Yeah. He's a he's a calamity, absolute calamity. Newcastle been robbed as well. Van Dijk should have been sent off. Oh, it's oh, it's a can't wait for match of the day tonight. Hey, with, with Jack Dees and Coke in here. Yeah, I'm having some of this and a bit of pizza. Fuck the lot of them. United are back. Fantastic. Thank you very much for joining us. And hit subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in a bit. <laughs>